we just hold tight. We're up at the moonlight, believe in the magic. Hey guys, Rie here. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy Before Does Disney. And day five, no, six, five. What day is it? We've lost all sense of what day it is. Day six of our February half term 2023 Disneyland Paris trip. So we're staying here at the B&B Hotel, which is Disneyland Paris Partner Hotel, about to get the shuttle bus. We are Disney bounding today as the family Madrigal. <laughs> so we've got a little teeny tiny Mirabelle. We've got Isabella, who's actually called Isabella, funnily enough, so that's convenient. And we Bruno. didn't talk about Bruno. And I am um, Dolores today as my little red and yellow Disney bound. It's a really exciting day today because we've got Plaza Gardens, character dining reservations. So I believe we're going to try and do the two parks. There's a whole wish list. The children have been going through and writing in the planner everything that they want to get done. Wish list today includes Animation Academy, yeah. characters, a whole bunch of characters. Bella I'm loves drawing. Like yeah. I don't know what I want to do. So let's get on the shuttle bus to the park and see how much we can get done before our dining reservation. I foresee that a bus will arrive. Do you hear the bus, Dolores? Yeah, yes, I hear it. It's a mile away. <laughs> So we're starting in studios, but before we go to studios, we are going to run down to the entrance of the main park and ditch our coats. We've put them in these bags because with my Infinity Pass, I can leave up to three bags in the lockers. It's really mild, isn't it, Will? Mm. Sorry, Bruno. It's just not that cold and we're sort of just about okay outside. I know when we go indoors, it's really warm then, so. It should be better. I would, yeah, I would rather ditch the coats than carrying them because carrying extra bulk around Disney is no fun, is it? Yes. So let's get into Disneyland, ditch the coats, and then I think the priority is to get a little something to eat early as possible, just so that we're not trying to eat too late and too close to our dining reservation because it's a buffet. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to eat all the good things. So. Also, Bruno would be very. Bruno should run all the weather forecasts. I mean, yes. Okay. Thanks, that will. He should. He should. Um, so anyway, we can do eating something. Um, we've also decided Toy Story parachute drop. Maybe flight force as well. We've only ever done flight force once. Can you believe it? It's because Zara mm. can't do it. Yeah. We did it once on that Avengers campus first day back in our October trip. So that might need another turn, mm. another go on that today. Hi Mary! Hi Bert! Hello! Hello! Are you having a wonderful day? Yes! Yes, and what's your names? Oh, this is Zara. Zara. Oh, Zara, I'm looking very colourful. I like your dress. Yes, it's very beautiful. You having a lovely morning? Yeah, what have you done so far? We just... We just got here. You've just arrived. Is it your first day today? No, our sixth day. We've been looking for you. Wow. Do you like the princesses? Yeah. Is Zamora your favourite princess? No, she's not in there. One of them. Okay, she's got many princesses. There's a lot to choose from, isn't there? Yes. She's very beautiful too, of course. <laughs> yes, and I like your bag. Very sharp. You're going home tomorrow, but you've had lots of fun. Okay. And what have, what's been your favourite moment of this journey so far? Aurora. Wow. Do you like the princesses? Yes. Is Aurora your favourite princess? One of them. One of them. Okay, you've got many princesses. There's a lot to choose from, isn't Yes. She's very beautiful too, of course. Yes, and I like your bag. Very shiny. Very like beautiful. Should we sign your book for you? Oh, would you mind? Of course. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. You've got one more one page. One more page. Perfect. Final page. Yes. Wonderful. Lots of books. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much, guys. And you remember my story as well? Yes. Do you... Oh, but it's movie night. Movie night. Maybe we can go one time. Story time. I like stories. Yes. I have, to bring, stories. I have to bring my chalks. Perfect. And what's your favourite part from my story? Oh, on a jolly holiday, of course. I like Just that like part. you today. 
And what are you off to do next? Find some more adventures. Have you seen the penguin today? Are they wandering around? Mr. Pen Mr. Penguin, Mr. Penguin is he's, he's gone somewhere, isn't he? It's very, very cute. He's probably gone to go make some cake. So which is your favourite Mary Poppins song, Zara? Uh, Jolly Holiday. Bella, what's your favourite song? Jolly Holiday. Jolly Holiday as well. And it's always a Jolly Holiday yes. with you, Mary. Thank you, Bert. We got another one there. I don't know whose it was. Yes. Oh. We have and you here. remember my famous song beginning with S? No, Mary's. There you go. Perfect. Should we get a photograph together? together? Oh, if you wouldn't mind, that would be amazing. Yeah, thank come you on so in. much. Oh, thank you so much. This is your holiday. Okay. Take care. Have a good day. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and enjoy your last few days, okay? Take care. Oh. Thank you so much. And you too, William. Perfect. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Have Bert. a lovely day, everyone, okay? Yeah. How cool was that? I literally just saw them. I just sort of went. Where's the penguin? Oh, is that a penguin? Should we chase the penguin? Yeah. Let's chase the penguin. Where's the penguin? Oh, the penguins. Penguin. 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 Quick. Penguin. They're just wandering around. There's no cues or anything. It's just like, hi, characters. It's a penguin. Mary's penguins. Hi. Hi, penguin. So nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, Isn't she does have a nice bow, just like you. We just, we just just see Mary and Bert. Yes. Hello, yeah, it's a fluffy, it's a fluffy microphone, just like your fluffy. Yeah. That's exactly right, Mr. Penguin. <laughs> I wonder which is fluffier. Oh, what a lovely hug. There you go, that's how you do it. Oh, get, there you go, Baba. Give him a, oh, you got penguins for a pen, perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. Penguin. Could we please yes. have a photograph of you with the children? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Penguin. Have a jolly holiday. <laughs> oh. Guys, how cool is that? Yeah. How cool was that? Yes, Get penguins it? are cool. Yeah. Oh, Zara, you've had to start your new autograph book because you filled a whole one. Really pretty page. Oh, wow. So, quick tip if your um, autograph book doesn't have one of the loops for a pen and even if it has, for keeping it neat. If you put the hair elastic around the book like that, it'll stop the book pages from getting frayed and it gives you somewhere to keep your pen attached just like that, see? So we've grabbed a hot dog and we literally had two hot dogs between the four of us. That was enough to keep us going. Eating that and now we're going to go and check out the Animation Academy. See what the score is there. We've not actually done the Animation Academy before. It's one of the only attractions I think we haven't actually done in Walt Disney Studios Park. It might be the only one, that's right. Come on, let's go through these doors and see if it's in here. So the children are about to do a drawing lesson in the Animation Academy. We've just watched one while we were waiting, which is really cool. Which they're now actually, stitch. which was they were drawing stitch. Yes. So I don't know who the children will get to draw. Um, they're now just actually sanitising all the stations uh, between use, and then it's your turn. At the animation academy that was loads of fun we just found this toy story thing we've never seen before oh lights will flash so your eyes take a picture of the sculptures frozen in space this is interesting i didn't know what this was so that it'll look like buzz and all our friends are having a great big andy's room hoedown okay Pretty neat, huh? 
Come on, Bullseye. Let's climb like the wind. Oh. Oh, so that was interesting. I'm not sure how well that came across on camera. The flashing, so it's all the models when spun with flashing. It's just sort of illustrating how animation works, basically. So. Yeah. The Animation Academy was really good, the children really enjoyed that. Um, the other character that was being drawn before and after Donald was Stitch. So now, guys, do you want to do Toy Story Terror Drop or do you want to prioritise hopping over to the other park to look for characters? It's your choice, guys. Yeah. Characters? Yeah. Characters? I've just started my new water bath book. Okay, well let's go fill it up with some yeah, I really characters. So we are back in the main park, back on Main Street, USA. Uh, we need to head to Adventureland to, to attempt to meet Jeannie. Jeannie's the one that they're hoping. Jeannie's by the lamp. Jeannie's the one that they are hoping to meet. She's by the lamp in Adventureland. So we're going to nip up Liberty Arcade, which runs parallel to Main Street, and hopefully meet Jeannie or any other Aladdin characters that might be there. So there are no priority access appointments left for Jeannie and the queue is quite long. I'm not sure the children will cope with it. If you, this is your first video, priority access is a disability system for Disneyland Paris and children qualify for their autism. I answer all the questions about it in this video so you can check that out later if you are interested. So we've left Daddy 4 in the queue for Jeannie while we decide what we're doing. We're going to go and check out another sign over by Skull Rock. Apparently there's a sign yeah, to Peter, Peter even though Peter's not on the app, I can't even see the sign, but we're going to go and check that. You didn't see it, I we didn't. were getting the stroller, we were taking wonky ways. Oh right, you were with Daddy, that's why I didn't see it. Well we didn't see it because we were running for the stroller. Okay, right, so we're going to go and find out if this sign exists and what it says. It does, it does. Apparently it's someone near Skull Rock. Looks like it's quarter past 12 till one and then quarter past one until quarter to two. So we might have to do this tomorrow. But again, this one is not on the app. So you need to come and physically check this sign by Skull Rock for your visit. Because William seemed to think it was after four. Last yeah, time we were here, suggesting I it changes so. seasonally or whatever. Guys, shall we, shall we just make a new plan? The reason we went to studios first today, we knew what characters were going to be better about in the morning. We went to studios first. We're going to end up in this park at the end of the day for our dining reservation. But our dining reservation tomorrow is kind of lunchtime. So should we come in here early tomorrow? Yeah. And do characters? Is that yeah. what you want to do? And then, and then maybe get out of this park after our dining reservation and then maybe go to studios and We could do maybe, the thing is, yeah, maybe we'd be lucky if we did Peter because we've only got half an hour to do Let's put this, let's make a note of this. In fact, we need to make a note of this in the planner, don't we? I'll take a photo on my phone of the times and we'll make sure that we come back for this as a priority tomorrow. That's not asking for So, Daddy 4, uh, we've just come back to fetch him. We've moved forward a fair bit in this queue. This queue's actually moving a lot quicker than we thought. So we're going to attempt to stand in the queue, see how that goes, while eating some sweets that William chose a few days ago. For the girls, has been carrying around ever since. So hopefully now maybe we will get to meet Jeannie and then go and do some attractions. We have got, I believe our dining reservations at six. So we have got, I think, three and a half hours. Quarter past six. There we go. We've got three and a half hours. What do you want to do with these three and a half hours, guys? Do you want to get the planner out and have a look? Harry mm. Do you want to get the planner out and have a look what you want to do with the next three and a half hours? Good idea. I only think we put down an animation account. Well, get it out. Have a look at the main bucket list we wrote at the beginning of the trip and see what we've got left. Jeannie came out. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, make a wish. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I wish <laughs> to have fun. Yay. I wish you to have fun. Can I have the too? Oh. Oh, sorry. Jeannie loves you. Oh, can I have a photo? Yeah. Oh, go on. Stand on there for a picture. The Jeannie meet and greet was fantastic. You loved it, didn't you? Yeah. He was brilliant. Um, well worth meeting if you are here in Disneyland Paris. Um, we're really close to Pirates, so the children would like to go for a little sail around the Caribbean. So, come on, guys. Yo ho. Ho ho. Pirates like Wow. Okay, the children have looked at that queue and changed their minds. This is the disability queue for Pirates. So, Pirates main standby line is listed at 50 minutes but it looks absolutely chaotically busy with people spilling out so i wonder if has it just been shut and reopened or something i don't know that looks like i've never seen it like that i've never seen it like that down at the priority access end so it is i mean today was one of the days i couldn't get park reservations for we were on the waiting list we managed to get in so i guess we're lucky to be here at all but yeah. it, de it definitely feels busier than the beginning and of our trip. Lucky to get to meet you. We're so lucky to get to meet you. Yeah, especially on a day like this. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So we're just wandering into Fantasyland. You guys do want to do the little boats. Should we head up to the little boats? Yeah. We were supposed to do the little boats the other day, and then we ran out of time because we wanted to go and see Stars on Parade. Let's head to the little boats, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Slight change of plan. The priority access queue for Peter looks really small, so we're just going to nip on really quickly because it is one of our favourites. for Alice as we walk through Fantasyland towards the little boat. This might be another one for tomorrow, no. but we're going to take note. We want yeah. to try. 45 minutes from half past 12 until quarter past one, but this is something we could try and do tomorrow. What do you say, Zaza? I want to meet Mickey. Well, we are right by Meet Mickey Mouse. What do you reckon, guys? As we're here, let's go say hi to the main mouse. Trying to make a plan now for between now and Mickey first. Mickey. So first Mickey, because we're physically in Mickey yeah. in the queue. We're just sat here on the floor. And um, yesterday for a week. Oh, so yeah. I love it. Thank you. Because it like attaches to my. Thank you for sharing that. I was going to show that in the hall, but there you go. Spoiler alert. Yeah. That's what's our bought. And that I bought one too. Okay. Um. So Mickey, then the boats up the back of Fantasyland. I'm then going to run down and get the coats because the weather was quite warm. Like, keep the water fresh and stuff, and it's really cute. Thank you for that, Sasa. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to run down and get the coats. And then we're going to do some um, Discovery Land stuff. I almost said Tomorrowland. <coughs> well, they want to do Autopia because we did it in the dark. It was a trip we haven't done in the light. Orbitron, the tippy one. It's very leany. Um, and Buzz Lightyear you again. High, it's the most tippy. It's literally like. That ah. is a key. And like, if you go down low, it's not you. tippy at all. Mm -hmm. really she likes to go high. Um, like go high. Which is really funny because when we went to Florida, <laughs> You literally would only skim the floor in a circle. You wouldn't go high at all. Anyway, um, so after we get the coats, Orbitron, Autopia, Buzz. I think then it's going to be time for our dining reservations in Plaza. And then I want. Are we meet more characters? No, I don't think we are because. At Plaza. Oh, sorry, at Plaza, of course. Yes, we're going to meet some more characters at Plaza. It's character dining, but um, we want to then try and get back early-ish tonight to get in earlier because a lot of the character meets you need to be in early enough 
to get slots for or to actually find. So tomorrow we'll like do a character focus morning. And then I think our dining reservation is something like quarter to one tomorrow in Agrabah, which is the Aladdin restaurant, which we haven't been to before. Jasmine, yeah. <laughs> Aladdin cupcake. And, that, and then tomorrow is the last day of our trip. Mickey was so lovely. Now we're doing a super quick toilet stop for a change and then we're gonna head up to the little boats. Daddy of course just gone down to go and get the coats because the temperature is dropping. The weather's been really really nice and like it's dry so I'm happy but um, it's definitely getting a bit cooler and before we hop on, hop on like Orbitron and Autopia and stuff we need our coats back I think don't we guys? Yeah? Need our coats back. Did you enjoy meeting Mickey? Yeah. It was lovely wasn't it? Guys, yeah. what's the best bit of this ride? Do you think, in your opinion? I don't know. Bells. Bells Village. Um, Aladdin's Cave of Wonders. Of course. I mean, we're not surprised at all that you chose something, Jasmine. Bella chose something, Belle, and William's Mom, like, it's I, all good. I, I keep up them. Well, what did you? Look. I actually think my favorite part of the ride is waving to the cake street. Ah, yes, that's I always good. I think my favorite bit is actually seeing like the, all the experience of the of like the movies and all those sorts of things. Oh, the boat ride's so sweet, it's just a nice relaxing ride through all the little stories, some, most of which are Disney, but some of which are not, you know, like The Wizard of Oz. Um, although they look a bit more like the characters in Return to Oz. Shout out below if you've seen Return to Oz, or if you saw it as a child and were terrified by it. Anyway, <laughs> we're now heading to Discoveryland to do the children's next ride choices, Autopia, Ultron and Buzz, and also to meet my husband who has apparently picked up our coats. I think we kind of need them now because the temperature is dropping. We've been so lucky with this weather. I mean, it's February right now. And I'm in a jumper. I've got like a, a vest underneath. The children are much warmer than me because they're wearing thermals. I'm not wearing thermals today, stupidly. I'm not even cold. I know you're not even cold because you're wearing thermals. Um, but I do feel like today is cooler than it has been earlier in the trip. We had a little bit of rain, was it yesterday? But overall, it has not been February weather. It's been amazing we've been so so lucky i was kind of expecting zero degrees that's why i packed loads of gloves and thermals and all the things so 
thank you Disney for organizing some magical weather for us. And to watch the second half of our day, you can click over here just as soon as that vlog is live. Thank you so much for watching and sharing our Disney magical adventures with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and do all those YouTube things. And I shall see you over there in the next episode. Bye.